Did you know that the Earth has not one satellite, but seven? In addition to the Moon, these include six more quasi-satellites, asteroids that are in orbital resonance with our planet. Most of the asteroids in the solar system huddle in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars. Their total mass is about 4% of the mass of the Moon. According to modern science, most asteroids in our system are the remnants of the building material which once formed the Sun and the planets. The gas giant Jupiter acts as a safety mat for the Earth. Its powerful gravity attracts comets and asteroids flying into the solar system, and they end up burned down in its atmosphere. What sets them apart from dwarf planets is the fact that they aren't heavy enough to acquire a spherical or similar shape due to their own gravity. More than 100,000 asteroids have already been assigned numbers, with a few lucky ones with most peculiar features being called by proper names. It's good to know that orbits of asteroids that pose a potential threat to us are constantly being monitored. According to one theory, it was a collision with a large asteroid that wiped out dinosaurs from the face of our planet. A powerful enough blow can raise so much dust into the atmosphere that it will dim down the sun for many years, leading to an extremely sharp drop in temperature. Today, we'll review those asteroids that are classified as dangerous. Each of them has been a subject of heated debate among astronomy enthusiasts, with some of them insisting on the inevitability of an asteroid collision. But is it really true? In this video, you'll find out which asteroids pose the most danger to Earth. What are the chances that they will collide with our planet? And finally, whether humanity will be able to change their orbit to avoid the impact. What asteroids might be dangerous to Earth? According to scientific theory, space objects should be classified as dangerous asteroids in case their orbit lies extremely close to the Earth and the diameter exceeds 140 meters. Even such seemingly small dimensions would mean a lot of destruction and natural disasters in the event of a collision. Fortunately, the risk of witnessing such a collision is almost reduced to zero for modern human civilization. On average, asteroids cause some real damage to Earth once every 10,000 years, according to statistical research. This space object stole the spotlight and has been considered controversial for more than a year. The Apophis asteroid was discovered in 2004 at the Kitt Peak Observatory. According to current information from NASA, the diameter of Apophis ranges from 310 to 340 meters. This data is considered the most accurate as it was obtained by the Herschel Space Telescope. Despite the spread of information about the immediate danger the asteroid poses to Earth in 2029 and 2036, NASA representatives flat out refuse such risk. Experts were able to come to this conclusion after the research conducted in 2013. Then, the asteroid orbited at a distance of almost 14.5 million kilometers from the Earth. Until that time, the risk of a collision in 2029 was estimated at about 3%. Moreover, scientists were confident that the orbit of Apophis could change after getting closer to the Earth. This would consequently increase the risk of a collision as early as 2036. However, as of 2021, most scientists agree that the risk can be estimated as one in a million. However, why not hypothesize for a second that such a collision occurs? What would happen to humanity and the planet? Initially, NASA representatives stated that the fall of the Apophis asteroid would lead to destruction equivalent to 1,480 megatons of trinitotaline. Subsequently, this value decreased to 506 megatons after experts accurately determined the size of the space object. 
Naturally, it's rather difficult to predict the hypothetical result of a direct collision of the asteroid with the Earth. Indeed, there are many variables. The potential consequences depend not only on the place, but also on the impact angle. One thing remains certain. Apophis wouldn't be big enough to cause the impact winter, but the destructive effect would spread over many thousands of kilometers. What is an impact winter, you might wonder? The fall of the asteroid would make a huge volume of soot and carbon gas stay in the atmosphere. This cloud would shield the planet from the regular dose of solar rays, which would in turn trigger climate change. It would become dark, causing the oxygen levels to decrease. Plants wouldn't be able to actively perform photosynthesis, and living things would find themselves in the glacier period. The analysis shows that a fall of a 5-kilometer asteroid or comet in a small body of water would be enough to throw a significant amount of matter into the atmosphere and decrease the planet's global temperature. It's for this reason that people are afraid of an impact winter more than a simple collision. There's no doubt, no one wants to go down like dinosaurs. Naturally, the fall of an Apophis near populated areas would lead to an earthquake. For example, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.5 would occur in a city within the radius of 10 kilometers from the impact site. If the asteroid fell into the ocean or even a large lake, then devastating tsunamis would destroy settlements for up to 300 kilometers around. There is virtually no doubt that NASA is telling the truth about the minimum danger the asteroid poses to the Earth in the next few decades. Despite this, scientists offer various options on countering a potential collision with Apophis. For example, a highly reflective film was considered. Its use would result in altering the asteroid's orbit due to the sunlight's pressure. Teutatis is another potentially dangerous asteroid for the Earth. Its story is no less intriguing than that of Apophis, at least because it starts on February 10, 1934, when it was first discovered. Then, it vanished out of sight. Christian Paulus rediscovered it only 55 years later, on January 4, 1989. According to information by the IRAS Observatory, the asteroid is 5.4 kilometers in diameter. The asteroid's movement is truly unique. If a person had a chance to visit this asteroid, it would seem to them that the sun rises and sets down in random places, and even more so, at a random time. It seems like a perfect home for the little prince from the eponymic novella by French writer Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. As you might remember, seeing the sunset was one of this character's greatest sources of happiness. Unlike most other dangerous asteroids, Teutatis has a rotation period of four years. Therefore, it is often located quite close to the Earth. The closest Teutatis came to our planet was on September 29, 2004. That day, the asteroid was only 0.104 astronomical units from the planet's surface. This event enabled scientists to study its features in more detail and come to the conclusion that the threat of a collision in the nearest future is extremely low. Moreover, some scientists argue that in the next century, Teutatis may leave the solar system due to gravitational interaction with the planets. The irregular shape of the asteroid is quite noteworthy because it consists of two lobes with diameters of 2.4 and 4.6 kilometers. Most probably, the Teutatis' shape suggests that it was formed from two separate cosmic bodies. Another asteroid from our list hasn't yet received an official name, and the combination 53319-1999-JM8 is used to designate it. 
This asteroid was first discovered by the Linear Laboratory on May 13, 1999. With a diameter of 7 kilometers and a complete intersection of the Earth's orbit, it can be classified as a potentially dangerous object. According to NASA calculations, the closest distance between the asteroid and the Earth was observed in 1990. Then, it approached the Earth at a distance of just 5 million kilometers. Despite this frightening figure, scientists guarantee that such problems won't arise in the 21st century, since the specific space object won't come closer than 38.3 million kilometers. Consequently, as long as potential risks from this asteroid are concerned, this century is going to be rather safe. The Goldstone and Arecibo observatories provided not only the approximate diameter of the described asteroid, but also several radar images. If you look closely, you can find that this space object resembles a chicken. Another asteroid that claims our attention is Didymus Asteroid. It was first discovered thanks to the Space Watch program at the University of Arizona. The asteroid was discovered on April 11, 1996. It was first named 1996 GT. It's worth noting that unlike most asteroids, Didymus has a satellite with a diameter of only 150 meters. The diameter of Didymus is only 0.8 kilometers, but it stands out for a completely different reason. It was Didymus that was chosen as the collision target as a part of the DART program. Globally speaking, this is the first project in the history of mankind whose main goal is to change the trajectory of asteroids and other space bodies using a spacecraft. This device and the project itself was developed in the Johns Hopkins Laboratory as well as at NASA centers. The official launch of the device took place on November 24, 2021, with a SpaceX Falcon 9 being used as a launch vehicle. The collision of the device and the Didymus asteroid, as scheduled by the DART program, should occur in October 2022. Depending on the result of this mission, scientists will be able to analyze the effectiveness of defense against planetary impacts. Naturally, you should take into account that the asteroids presented in today's episode aren't the only space bodies that are potentially dangerous to our planet. NASA continues to discover new asteroids that not only orbit the Earth, but also have a frightening diameter that would cause irreversible damage in the event of a collision. Hopefully, new, effective ways of countering the impending danger will be found by scientists in the near future as they take this matter quite seriously.